Welcome to Infigyan. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting question from Nigerian Senior Math Olympiad 2024. So let's get started by writing here. This is our equation 1. Here we can write equation number 2. This would be equation number 3. Now we will use one algebraic identity. It is x plus y plus z whole square will be equal to x square plus y square plus z square plus 2 times xy plus yz plus zx. Now from this formula, we want to calculate xy plus yz plus zx. So if I will sum up and write here xy plus yz plus zx value this will be equal to x plus y plus z whole square minus in the bracket x square plus y square plus z square and in denominator we have to write 2. Now we have equation 1 and equation 2 which we are going to plug in here. So x plus y plus z is 1. We will write here 1 square minus x square plus y square plus z square is 69 over 2. 1 square is 1 minus 69 over 2 will be equal to minus 68 over 2. So I can write here xy plus yz plus zx. This will be minus 34. And this equation is our equation number 4. Now we are going to find the value of x, y, z using another algebraic formula or identity which is x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz equal to x plus y plus z times x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx. Now we have x cube plus y cube plus z cube. This is our equation number 3. We will write here 271 x plus y plus z. This is our equation 1. We are going to write here 1. In place of x square plus y square plus z square, we will use our equation number 2 and we can write 69. Then we will take minus common from the remaining terms so that we will use equation number 4. So I can write here 271 minus 3xyz equal to x plus y plus z is 1, so we won't write. x square plus y square plus z square is 69, 69. Then we will take minus common, so that we will write xy plus yz plus zx in the bracket. Now we will use equation number 4 and value is minus 34. So we can write here 271 minus 3xyz equal to 69 minus of minus 34 will be equal to 69 plus 34. 69 plus 34 is 103 will be equal to 271 minus 3xyz. So we can take minus 3xyz to the RHS. So 3xyz will be equal to 271 minus 103. This will come out 168. Now we have to divide both sides by 3 to get the value of xyz which will be equal to 168 over 3. So value will be equal to 56. This is our equation number 5. Now I will write three equations. 
x plus y plus z our equation number one value is one second equation we will write equation number four x y plus y z plus z x value was minus 34 and third equation we will consider our equation 5 x y z was 56 now we can think about one cubic equation whose roots are x y and z then we can write here our cubic equation suppose in variable t whose roots are x y and z then our first equation is sum of roots second equation here sum of roots taken two at a time third equation is product of roots so we can use vita's formula or vita's method and we can write our cubic equation in variable t t cube minus t square because sum of roots is 1 minus 30 40 minus 56 equal to 0. Now we will use rational root theorem. So I need to find eligible factors of 56. I can write plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4, plus minus 7, plus minus 8 and so on. Leading coefficient is 1, so we will write plus minus 1 only. Now we have to consider the ratio of constant to leading coefficient. So if I will plug in t equal to negative 1, will it satisfy minus 1, minus 1, plus 34, minus 56? No, it won't. Now we will put t equal to 1, will it satisfy? No, 1, minus 1 minus 34 minus 56 then we can plug in t equal to minus 2 so i will be writing minus 2 cube minus 8 minus 4 plus 68 minus 56 so yes minus 56 minus 12 minus 68 so we can write 68 minus 68 which is satisfying our equation so t equal to minus 2 is our base solution for this cubic equation. Now we can use synthetic division method. So I will write all the coefficients for our base solution minus 2. Let me write all the coefficients of cubic equation. So I will write coefficient of t cube 1, coefficient of t square negative 1, coefficient of t negative 34, constant negative 56 we'll put one line over there leading coefficient would be as it is now we have to multiply base solution with leading coefficient 1 this is synthetic division method now minus 2 times 1 is minus 2 we'll write here then we have to add these two numbers we'll get minus 3 again we'll multiply minus 2 with minus 3 we are going to get plus 6 addition of these two will be minus 28 again we are going to multiply our base solution with this number minus 28 so we are going to get plus 56 addition of these two will give us 0 so these are coefficients for quadratic equation i will write t square minus 3t minus 28 equal to 0. Now our one solution is confirmed which is minus 2. Now we will find out the remaining two solving this quadratic equation. I will use quadratic formula. So I need to write a coefficient of t square 1, b coefficient of t minus 3, c constant minus 28. Formula is t equal to minus b plus minus a square root of b square minus 4ac over 2 times a. Let's plug in all the values. So I will write here t equal to 
माइनस बी सो आई विल राइट माइनस ऑफ माइनस थ्री प्लस माइनस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ माइनस थ्री स्क्वायर इज नाइन माइनस फोर टाइम्स वन टाइम्स माइनस ट्वेंटी एट इन डिनोमिनेटर वी हैव टू राइट टू टाइम्स वन विच इज टू वी विल गेट माइनस टाइम्स माइनस प्लस सो प्लस थ्री प्लस माइनस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ नाइन माइनस टाइम्स माइनस बिकम्स प्लस फोर टाइम्स ट्वेंटी एट हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व ओवर टू दिस विल बी इक्वल टू थ्री प्लस माइनस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी वन ओवर टू नाउ हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी वन इज इलेवन स्क्वायर so we will get square root 121 equal to 11 we can write 3 plus minus 11 over 2 so from here i will get two values 3 plus 11 over 2 and 3 minus 11 over 2 so this is 14 over 2 we can write directly 7 this is minus 8 over 2 we can write minus 4 and our base solution was minus 2 so i can write here t equal to minus 2 minus 4 and 7 now we have to write the triplet x y z so we have to consider the permutation of the triplet as we have the symmetrical equations so i can write here minus 2 minus 4 7 then we can write minus 4 minus 2 7 then we can write minus 2 7 minus 4 then we can write minus 4 7 minus 2 then we can write 7 minus 2 minus 4 and last would be 7 minus 4 minus 2 so in total we have six solutions I hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye